welcome back to budget stuff save repeat i am melissa thank you so much for being here happy september happy labor day happy almost fall oh my goodness guys we are in the last quarter of the year so in my opinion this is not the time to take the foot off the gas it's go 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 we can still hit our goals before this year is up and that is what i'm doing i am going to be stuffing my holiday binders we are soon approaching holiday season um kids are going back to school and that means we have to just stay focused because i know everyone is busy but it seems like it gets a little busier when you add the school stuff back into the play so let's jump into this i have 10 20 30 35 37 39 41 42 so that's 425 dollars that i will be stuffing i should be wrapping up my holiday stuffing next year uh, but we are going to go ahead and finish off thanksgiving we don't host Thanksgiving, but we do fry the, uh, we fry a turkey for Thanksgiving. So um, we are responsible for the peanut oil and all the things that we need for um, frying a turkey. So we only budget $150 for that. Uh, we had some rollover from last year because I was able to find the peanut oil on sale. I have not been able to find it this year on sale, so I'll have to pay whatever the price is in the grocery store. But um, yeah, we're fine with that. So we're done with Thanksgiving. We have what we need. And let's count this money. So we're going to just put $5 in there. That's all we needed to finish off Thanksgiving. Okay, so... We'll put this five in here. And that gives us a total of one. So 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 21, 22. So a hundred twenty-seven dollars. So we have 227. All we was budgeting was 150, but we had to roll over from next year. So as soon as um, we get close to the holiday, knowing me, I'm just gonna go to BJ's and get everything I need in one fell swoop and um, be done with it. So Thanksgiving is done. I do include teacher appreciation in um, my holiday binder. I try to support our teachers as much as possible. Today I'm gonna be doing 95. So 50, 70, 95. And this will complete this challenge because this challenge only needed 90 dollars and i got this from liz and less it's a sticker challenge very cute if you don't like to color i actually like both i think this was such a great idea very very fun i really like this challenge and it was a lot of fun to do oh these stickers and it's like it's it she shows you where you should put them so you don't have to use a lot of brain power you can't really mess this up so that's great my kids we did go and meet the teacher oh that one got stuck we did go and meet the teacher i am so far very pleased with what we got we have some old friends in our class some friends that we did not want in our class is not there this year Woo! <laughs> you know what i mean if you're a parent um but yeah we're we're excited i'm excited for a new year i always go in very optimistic you know i um pray for my kids just that they're they they are where they should be so I'm excited for back to school. Um, everybody was, you know, it didn't seem like the teachers were dreading being there, which I always look for. So it was, it was really, really good. Um, but yeah, we start school tomorrow. <laughs> so it's just a, it's just an exciting time, but just such a busy time. We already have swim back on our list and, oh, I had an extra heart or am I missing a heart somewhere? I don't know. So let's do these books and we will be done with another challenge oh i see the heart i see the heart down here in the corner and we're done with another challenge how beautiful is this so like i said i'm doing 95 dollars in here and this was only 90 so i'm gonna start my last challenge for the year i bought this set from teach and budget 
Studios off the of Etsy. And it came with, it said teacher appreciation. That's what I was looking for. One says, let's save and give these. And it gives examples of what teachers would actually want. Give cards, money, um, or just ask them, she said. And then the next one says, let's save on these and not give these. So this is what teachers don't want. They don't want the keychains and the candy and the flowers. So I thought that was pretty funny. Um, I only have $5 to stuff. So we're going to do this smaller challenge. Um, they both say $60, but she has numbers on here that are smaller. So I'm going to go ahead and save in this $5 and teachers don't want lotion. So <laughs> if you're a teacher and comment down below and let us know if you agree, if you just want the money and the gift cards or just ask you versus giving you, um, candles and flowers and candy. So I'm a gift card person. I like gift cards in my personal life. So that's what I like to give. Um, did I take the money out already? I had to, cause that's okay. Oh, it's back here. I'm like, where's the money? <laughs> All right. So let's add this $95 in here. So these twenties, this 50 and then the five. So let's see what we have for teacher appreciation. We have 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 42, 44, 46, 48, 52, 54, 55, 56, 56 is $565. So that is a good amount to have for our teacher appreciation. And my goal for teacher appreciation is $600 because like I said, it includes everything from the holidays um, to teacher appreciation week. Um, there's, you know, Valentine's Day. There's a lot of reasons to give to our teachers and I definitely wanna participate in all of them. Um, the next section is Christmas. So we do host Christmas. So our budget is, um, pretty large for Christmas, but my husband and I, I'll be putting 300 in here today. My husband and I, we, um, each shop for our side of the family. So with that being said, he gets 13 50 and I get 1350 to do our shopping. And then we save about $850 for, um, for our Christmas dinner. So it's a lot that goes in to Christmas. And this is just like, like I said, I don't um, think it's time to slow down. I think it's time for us to just keep moving because these holidays will be here. You look away and it's December. So I just want to keep going just to um, make sure that we're covered. Take the stress off where I can. You know, you can't help the busyness of the holiday, but if you can eliminate um, the money that you need, that definitely helps you have a little breather. So I'm excited. I am also going to be having a video soon showing that since it's September, this is the time of the year where I start budgeting for next year. I've shared with you guys a few times that I budget for the year. Um, I did have some questions about how do you actually do that? I have shown it in the past, but I'm going to do one of those real life budgeting um, series that I have where I just break down how I um, budget for the year. And I'm working on my little spreadsheet, a little sample spreadsheet that I can share with all of you guys. So I will attach that in that video, like on a, a Google Doc or something. So if you want to just start Thinking about 2025 and some of your financial goals, I don't think it's too early. I know you're like, we haven't finished this year yet, but it's like, it's like a motivator. It also help you stay on track for this year. So it's like, okay, I want to pay this off. And the way to do that is you have to end this year with a certain amount of money to help yourself do that. So um, these are things that I have done over the years. I've been budgeting for over... Um, for over 20 years. So I think I can say 21 or 22 years now. Um, and it works. It really does work. I think the hardest part is getting started. And then once you get started, it is, um, it's easier to keep going. You do build muscle memory in the areas that you practice and budgeting is something you have to practice. You have to practice writing down however you do it digitally, whatever. You have to practice writing it down and 
um, looking at the budget before you spend the money. And that's what I do. I mean, on payday, it, it, it helps me. It's like a no brainer for me. I just go and look at my sheet and then I know what, what bills I'm supposed to pay, where money is supposed to go. And then I just go about my business. So that is coming soon. And part of my budget is having this holiday savings in there. We start every January saving for the year. So for my side of the Christmas money, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's a thousand. Um, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 42, 43, four, four hundred and thirty five dollars so one thousand four hundred and thirty five dollars and i am almost finished with this tracker um which we will wrap up the um in october so i'll have all the money i need for christmas um next month and that is that is a woosa. that's all that's the word that comes it's like it's a breather today my son and i was looking at the target um, app and he was showing me some of the tar um, Legos that he likes and so I can just start putting them in the cart they're 15% off of course I'm going to go and grab a couple of them so this last $25 is going to go in for dinner and um, because we host we call it family dinner but this is for all the meals for um, when we have company over so breakfast lunch and dinner since they're staying at the house for a few days Let's add this $20 in here and this five. And so that gives us 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 47, 49, 51, 53, 53, 54, 55. So we have $550 and we have $50 left. And this tracker was for 600. So we are on track next month when we do this holiday binder one more time we will be done for the year I can put it aside and then in January we will start all over again um, but thank you so much for being here I hope you are having a wonderful day off if you get the day off um, and I just wish all of your children a safe school year and parents you did a good job you made it through the summer and I will talk to you guys later bye